just wanted to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of two of my forehands. On the left one, all of my weight is on my back leg, which means I'm falling back, which is not good. On the right one, it's on my front leg, which allows me to hit into the ball properly. It's a small change that makes a huge difference. Unfortunately, there's always some disparity between playing in a tournament and playing in practice. Though what I noticed earlier this week is that that disparity can be even bigger when you're having an off day. On Sunday, I played the first match of a tournament, the one on hard court, and I was playing absolutely awful, worse than I've played in a very long time. On Monday, I played with my friend, the one on clay court, to get a good match of tennis before my next tournament match, which was on Tuesday. This footage depicts the very first game of those two matches. I'm obviously not immune to nerves and tightness during tournaments. I'm all too familiar, unfortunately. That being said, generally after a game or two, I settle in and I'm able to play a lot better, pretty close to how I play during practices. On Sunday though, my ground strokes felt just off, which has happened before, even during practices, but this time I wasn't able to just kind of quiet my mind and reset, just focus on fundamentals, which usually does help. This resulted in me making mistakes I hadn't made in a long time. Ideally, I would just play my best tennis all the time, but alas, that is unlikely. So it's going to be important moving forward to try to stay mentally strong despite the adrenaline or nerves I might get under a tournament match setting. Unfortunately, I just made too many errors, so I lost that match in the tournament that I should have won fairly easily under normal circumstances. The final score was 7-6, 6-4. Thankfully, I did win my match on Tuesday though, so I move forward into the second round. Stay tuned for the developments of that tournament. 